huge. Especially because it just prevents them from touching your shield. Yep. We will see how that goes a little bit later, but right now we got Dexter and Peanut off to game number one of our other side of winner semifinals. Yeah, our uh, three versus our five on the recent MDPR. Yep, yep. An object of a lot of contention on Twitter.com, but Twitter isn't real. Twitter is PRs are. Twitter is just a funny place. There was a uh, squid me tweeted out, everybody should just add number one in MDVA to their bio. And I, there were, and it reached like a hundred something likes, and I checked, and a decent amount of people have uh, has added number one in MDVA to the bio. I mean, hey, <laughs> I love this region sometimes. It's 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 pretty funny. We got some funny people here. Right now, the only thing that's funny is how Dexter is going to make it back, and he is not Peanut getting the back of that down smash. Ooh. But Dexter takes it right back, finds another back air. Great stuff. I will say, there's no one in this region I've watched that is more confident versus Mac than Dex is. Which is also just historically how Dex plays. He doesn't play like someone who's, you know, jittery or messing up as often. The only time we really see that is when he just SDs. Typically, we see confidence and him holding his ground most of the time. Yeah. Dex is one of the hardest players to cheese in the region. So hard to cheese that the main way he gets cheesed by, as you said, cheesing himself. Yo, this less pressure from Peanut, though. That was some a nasty sequence. That is so good. Yeah, the sick stuff. Parry in the down tilt for the max extension. And I'm actually surprised all the hits of up connected right there. Like, it looked like it scooped from very deep, but was able to still get the full finish. For, yeah, for what it's worth, that up uh, in a game of, you know, non-functioning that's nice. Yeah. The game of uh, multis that don't function correctly. That Guppy does a pretty good job. I don't think I've ever seen anyone fall out of that move. I saw tonight was like one of the first times against uh, Siegel. He uh, tried against Diddy and it just didn't work. Huh. Yeah, well, it was really weird. But like other than that, uh, yeah, I almost never see that happen. Yo, he is scrapping right now. Look at this movement right there. And only a couple ticks away from KO Punch. And I don't think he has a way to combo into it from this percent anyway, though. It's mostly going to be as a call out option, if anything. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's so Yo. good. That up tilt <laughs> covers a whole platform, by the way. Because yep. it, it swings, like, all the way behind him, too. So it covers the front, and it just... Yeah, we saw how far he was from Dex. That, that was a true combo. Yeah. And I think the only way that Dex could have gotten out of that is, like, maybe roll in towards the stage. But other than that, like... I think Get Up Attack might have gotten punished right there, too. <laughs> Peanut recently has been just on something else. He's just like historically a player that in the region is really good. We know he's really good, mm -hmm. but he's had some roadblocks, like mentally, mental wise, or, you know, just being simply outclassed at times. But I can't say that he's, you know, we've. I can't say that he's just getting outclassed anymore. He's losing because. You know, play, he's make, making actual mistakes, not because it's a straight character thing. Well, actually, that's a lot. Sometimes it is, but oh, not dead. as often. Yeah. yeah, nice stuff. Like, if he's losing, it's because he's playing against players that are actually, you know, that can play against him, like, on the same level at, or better than him. Ooh. Yo, that call out. But he still lived. And not anymore. I see Peanut make a whole lot of recoveries, but against Dexter, it just becomes that much harder. So consistent with it. Oh, yo, I think you're dead. You're actually dead. Yeah. Dexter is one of the uh, main supporters of just go out and air them. Mm. And that's not just a versus Mac thing. Like, he will just go out and air you if it extends uh, his edge guard. But against Mac, however, it it might as well just be his whole game plan. And it, it works. Mm -hmm. it does more than get the job done. I've never seen Bayonet lose anything in my life. Yeah. Me neither, actually. What the heck? Okay. Yep. Comes the platform. Double jump up. He's trying to get max height onto that one, but still able to stay alive. Oh, he was waiting, but that time Dexter managed to get down fast enough to get that shield out. And 
KO punches there. I don't know if Dex is even going to be too afraid of it right now, though. He's not going to use it. There's Yeah, there's no reason to. Nothing that um, Peanut has. Oh, there we go. You're dead. Yeah. Use your jump. Good pickup. Side B was gone. GG go next. GG go next. Yeah. In that situation, KO Punch really isn't a threat. It's not a... KO Punch is not a fast move. Is it like it's it's fine in terms of speed, but it's not a fast move. Like yeah. you cannot call it a fast move. So there's no worry uh, that Dexter has that he's just gonna pull it. Well, unless, maybe he has like know. a landing. Like if you land right next to him. But yeah. Other than that. But other than that, because he has no combo tool at that point, and you can kind of like, of course, you're scared of it, but you're not too uh, scared about anything comboing into it. So you know your options are a bit better there. Yep, absolutely. And so off in this game number three, best of five set. Dexter striking back with all his kidneys. And oh, that trade actually ended up working him. out for his yeah. favor. Oh, your shield. Uh -huh. You remember the whole idea that, you know, take Mac to Battlefield so you can just cancel him? Uh, you're sh that there has to be a big old asterisk next to that. <laughs> Yeah, that does not work for most characters. Yeah, unless you're, because uh, Peanut will take, you know, will take you to Battlefield, and we're seeing it right now, because he likes using these platforms. He can get up there. She, Peanut likes using these platforms to, you know, la to ladder people. As funny as that is to say for a character like Mac, you can, you can ladder with your up tilt, mm -hmm. uh, using these platforms, and of course the extensions you beyond the laddering. You can get quite a bit uh, poking above the platform, especially if they have to uh, tech or something. Yeah, I'll dead. say, like, if you have to, if you get tech chased on a platform, like, above maybe 70, 80, odds are you're just dead for most characters. And he almost set up for it right there, and there we go, tech chase on a platform. Not going to get caught, but still gets caught by that up a little bit later. And yo, Peanut, big conversion. Also, how do you, uh, how do you approach Macri's underneath the platform? Uh, good question. You're really just getting loose hits, and you're only getting anything when Mac is in disadvantage. And he reversed it. I'm pretty sure. How um, you landing? Yeah, now you need a reverse and make it back. Yeah, Dex is not going over there. Just wait it out, good kick, and nice. I think. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, Smart by Dex to not go over there. I know a lot of people would have, and I think a lot of people would have gotten maybe KO punch at that position. Almost getting a kill right there with the down smash, but Peanut firing back with that side B a bit earlier. Nice. C catching him right there. They're only in 31%, so you're rather close to uh, KO Punch, and you're not at any particularly high percent. So, of course, you still have to worry about, you know, maybe some loose offstage hits, but you're not worried about a random onstage thing actually killing you. Yep. Okay, but two up tilts in the up B, and yo, Dex is getting hit by a lot of stuff. Opts to recover high, almost trapped on the platform, but Peanut is just step by step by, right behind him. It's like a horror movie, he's chasing you. That's not it, but. Too high, yeah. Yeah, pulling it there, and that actually may be it. That would suck. Oh, Dexter actually missing that edge guard a little bit right there, though. And Peanut. Looking maybe a little bit afraid, trying to get their bearings back. I'm missing out once again, but Dexter's shield's looking so low. Yeah, I gotta hang back a little bit. Just give yourself some time to recharge. Oh no. Uh, do you have a jump? Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that get up attack was, I think, a bit of the fraying of the rope. He wanted to get back, he wants some real safe back so badly. He just wants space, man, but Dexter's not going to give that to him. Got to earn it, just like you're in that game. Going to ledge against Dexter is a very bold decision. Yeah. Yeah. You, because one thing, we talk about how good Dexter is a player. He's a confident player, and it seems like he's always one step ahead of you. That includes what you're going to do at the ledge. But since there's less options you can take in general there, so it's... You know, so much easier for him to cover two things at once. And Wolf as a character is also very good at that. So you add both Dexter's skill and Wolf as a character. He's... It, 
you're it just going to the ledger was probably the worst decision Peanut could have done in that situation. Yep, yep, yep. And honestly, it looks like he's still trying to recover from that. I don't know. You're he dead. Has to jump here. Yeah. Yeah, kind of scratching his head, just trying to figure out how the hell to get around this wall that is Dexter. And if you find out, let me know, because I'm sure a lot of people in the region are trying to figure it out, too. Hey, there's a Metify for a reason. Yeah, true. Wait, is Dex on Metify? No, I was going to say, if he figures it out, there's a Metify for a reason. Yeah, that's that's actual facts. Oh, he was... Yeah, that says for, for down that's here, too. Yep, yep, yep. It's still Tuesday, but you know what? That was a calculated Tuesday. He the had cal the calendar out for that one. That was just very good for Dex. You reset the stocks to percents. However, you're still up a stock. And Peanut could could very well take this without, you know, without uh, losing, uh, without getting KO Punch even, which could be huge if he's actually able to do that. Yeah, he has to get his feet planted again real quick, though. Because, I mean, he was getting some momentum in on Dexter, but Dexter's starting to find a few hits here and there. Great read on that dash up up tilt. That's hey, yo, that was sick. But Battlefield ceiling. True. I mean, hey, it was your pick. <laughs> you're fine. Yeah. No way you're dying to that, especially since it's stale after it already being used right there. Not a bad idea. What? Ooh. That was a pretty, that was one of the prettier wolf combos I've seen. And you lost your KO punch. That... Well, that's a stock, but 86%, nowhere near KO punch. And this isn't like Diddy, how Diddy what, can just get loose hits. Wolf will kill you if you get sent off stage. Yeah. You have to make sure that Dexter does not touch you again, because otherwise you're liable to lose right here. And that throw could be the final nail in the coffin. Dexter may be chomping a bit too hard on that one. Should be some good damage. Hold this quick 50-ish. 46. That is, that's hey, damage. Yo. That's Wait. a stock. Wait. Yo, Peanut, bring that back. And you know what? We got ourselves another game five tonight. These players are really coming out to play. But, and that is something else that we have seen growth from Peanut. Is Peanut talked about his mentality earlier. As a player, he used to kind of just look mentally defeated at times. Mm -hmm. And that was a time that most players would just be mentally defeated. You know, you're down two to one against Dexter. You lost game three in a very, like, in your, in your favor, you were favored to win that game, and you still managed to lose it. And Dex suicide kills you to take a stock to, has, to keep his stock lead that he had. Yep. Most players would be out of it by then. He, however, being able to keep his mentality uh, strong and take that game. I think that was a very ultimate moment, and also amazing play from Peanut. But on top of that, the better you get at a game, the more confident you get at just being able to commit robbery whenever you need to. And, like, I'm not going to lie, that last stock was a little bit of robbery. It was clean robbery. It was like some Ocean's Eleven type beat, but, like, you still got robbed. Oh, sure. And that was the luckiest spacing pin I could get right there. I feel like if he was any, like, pixel OS. Even Dexter took a second and was like, wait, what? You, you, you threw that out there like that? Good roll out, but getting the up beef, 48%. So no KO punch, which right now wouldn't do matter anyways. Yeah. I feel like Van you're kind of buff because there is that slight armor on neutral B, but I'm not sure when Peanut would use that in this matchup. Yeah, it seems like it would be really hard to use against Dexter specifically. Getting the, uh, getting the gentleman's right there. For an up up B. Yeah, whoa, that spacing was phenomenal right there. And, but Dexter... He's really only one dash attack. Well, actually, with no rage, you could still probably survive his dash attack. You could probably survive a dash attack once it's like directly at the ledge. Yeah. But smash attack would definitely do it. Totally. Up smash, yeah, on Mac, definitely. Whoa. Maybe, Maybe like next hit. If he gets another hit, or just if he goes more rage, oh! he's, no, he's dead. He's yeah, dead. Yeah, you're dead. See ya. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Even Dex, you know, Dex, a player that we don't. See, no, uncomposed a lot, and we saw him there, keeping his head back a little bit. Pino running away with this one is is gonna be very big. I'm more I'm so more worried good. about his mentality than Dexter's. However, we it's not like Dex is perfect. We have seen moments where Dexter kind of just folds. Oh, he's not dead, but there's a stock for him. That's a start. 
Yep, yep, you needed that because, yeah, Rage up B, I think that actually would have killed right there if it fully connected. Yo, Peanut spacing on this. Dexter's having a hard time de jumping in because the low profile down tilts are always there and waiting. Okay, the speed star is something. Peanut's just holding in. Gonna eat all that damage because as long as you're off stage or not off stage, you're still gonna be doing fine. Getting the jab. Yeah, you have, if you're Dex, you're worried about the up. He had a shield. Oh, oh that's yeah. not it. Ah. Way too high percent. Yeah. However, you're still... In the, oh, that's not it either. Good, Good grab. grab. Yeah, grabbing a Mac with KO Punch, that should be an achievement in this game. Like, if we have achievements like Xbox or PlayStation or something, it's like, you grab Mac with KO Punch. The achievement would be, why would you do that? Oh. Yeah, but even Peanut knows that how close he is to losing this. If he gets hit with the wrong move, he will. It could just lead to his death. Oh, oh but he he trusts himself too much. He faded back on reaction, saying, "Oh, I can get a punish here. Let me make sure I'm in the right position." But Peanut actually sent that uh, forward to just try and catch anything that Dexter might have done, and he did just enough. That shouldn't have worked, but it did. We take those, we take those, and Peanut will be taking that game number five to go into Grand Finals. That is... Well, not Grand Finals, Winners Finals. Winners, winners Finals. But that is something that, in general, we have seen we see a lot from Peanut is the over-reliance on up -E. And I did say that shouldn't have worked because, you know, that was a, a good bait from Dexter to get that out of him. Peanut would just pull the trigger. It's a problem that both like him and Squid Plumber have. I bring them up because they, they, they live like a minute from each other. 